M Freeze Frame Action is an exciting new plugin from Motion VFX that helps make your footage and graphics look incredible in Final Cut Pro. Inside are 30 different title templates, backgrounds, typography templates, and overlay effects all in one package. After purchase and installation, find M Freeze Frame Templates in the Title Templates and Generators tab of Final Cut Pro. Click the Titles and Generators tab and navigate to M Freeze Frame Action. Let's start with using a title template. To preview any of the templates, hover over them using your mouse. To use them, drag and drop it on top of your clip in the timeline. To adjust the duration of our template, drag the edge handle to its new duration. Playing this back, we can see it's creating an interesting effect without any modifications. While this looks good as is, let's use the tools to make this title really stand out. Clicking on our template reveals controls for M Freeze Frame action, along with some on-screen instructions. First, choose a frame you'd like to freeze. I'll move my playhead to this frame and use the Set Current Frame button to select it. This will lock the frame for the duration of the title template, which you can see by playing this back. Just in case I'll make any changes in the future, I'll select my clip and create a marker using the keyboard shortcut M to remind me which frame we use for the freeze frame. This step isn't necessary for the plugin, but a good way to remember which frame was used. Selecting the freeze frame template once more, use the pen tool to create a mask around the area you wish to showcase. Click anywhere in the canvas to set your first point and continue to draw your mask around the area that you wish. Clicking and dragging a point will create a bezier curve with tangents. I can see my curve isn't going in the direction I want. Click and drag the tangents to adjust them. To make changes to a single tangent, hold the Alt key and drag. Depending on your magnification view, it may be challenging to create a mask around your subject in the canvas. To change your magnification, click the dropdown at the top of your canvas and choose a smaller amount to view the entirety of your project and the outside border around it. This will let you select points outside of your canvas and create a complete mask. To close the mask, click on the first point in which you started. During playback, now we can see the effect that this template has created. To create new points, click anywhere along your path. To delete a point, use the Delete Point tool and click on any point. You can also use the Add Point tool and hold the Alt key to quickly remove a point. To select multiple points, use the Point Selection tool. The last tool is for Mask Path Options. Clicking on this opens controls to clear our mask completely, save our mask for future use, or load a mask we previously saved. We'll take a deeper look at this momentarily. For now, I'll save this mask for future use. Inside the canvas, I have on-screen controls for position, scale, and rotation. To modify this template further, Open the inspector to access additional controls. The inspector is located in the top right corner of Final Cut Pro. With the template selected in the timeline, click the button to open the inspector or use keyboard shortcut Command 4. The different controls for the templates are broken into separate categories, with animation and wriggle, mask controls, background controls, foreground controls, and styling parameters at the bottom. The animation in out toggles how the template animates into and out of our project. Turning these off will remove the transition from the template effect. Clicking isolate mask will do exactly that. This is perfect to save alpha channel frames to use on other templates or other projects. 
The Wriggle Position Control changes the amount of camera shake inside the template. Next are mask controls. The mask on-off toggle controls the mask visibility. For this particular template, it gives a blurred background. Mask freeze frame can offset the frame in which you choose as your locked freeze frame. The mask blur and outline ranges are great to create a feathered border to your mask. Mask position is the same parameter as the on-screen control to set the position of your freeze frame. The position, rotation, and scale controls all have animation properties. These can be used to create extra movement to your freeze frame. By changing the animation position, scale, and rotation, you can create some more dynamic movement for your mask. Each of these templates have colorization controls. Be sure to experiment with them all. Next are background controls. These work similar to the mask controls and allow for customization of the background. Different templates will have different controls. The foreground controls change the appearance of the foreground effects. Near the bottom, we have stylized controls, including noise and vignettes. To add a title template to our project, select one from the browser and drag and drop it above your previous template. Adjust the duration and use the on-screen controls or the inspector to make changes to your text and animation. Let's replace this title template with a different one. Choose a new template and drag it onto your previous. Once highlighted, release your mouse and choose Replace. Because I've created a marker, I'll move my playhead to that frame and click Set Current Frame. Since I'm using the same frame as before, I'll open my mask control panel and load the mask I created previously. Adjust your template in the inspector to your liking. Using save masks makes trying different templates quick and easy. Let's take a look at another example. We can create two separate masks using compound clips and M freeze frame. First, I'll drag my title effect and place it on my timeline and set my current frame. And using the inspector and magnification controls, I'll then create my mask. After I've completed my mask, I'll adjust it using the inspector controls. Inside the inspector, I'll click isolate mask. This will create a freeze frame with an alpha channel. I'll drag the title template to the duration of my clip. Because I want to use a second copy of this clip, hold Alt and drag to duplicate a clip. Selecting my original clip and title template, let's create a compound clip by right-clicking and choosing Compound Clip. I'll name my compound clip and review it in the timeline. I'll repeat this process for the second frame in the duplicated clip. Because I want to use this with a different background, I'll click Isolate Mask once more. Using Mask Position and Position Animation, I can create some additional movement as this animates in. The mask will animate to their destination position value. I'll create another compound clip and review my two clips. Let's place a background beneath these two clips. I'll select my background and drag it below my two isolated mask layers. Each background set has several different styles to choose from in a drop-down menu. All backgrounds in M Freeze Frame Action have color controls just like our title templates. Use the Position tool to move clips and create a gap clip. Trim the compound clip to start at the freeze frame animation. Using the typography titles, 
I'll drag them into my timeline and adjust them in the inspector. To use more than one title template, drag them onto your timeline. It's easy to make changes to the title templates using the on-screen controls and the inspector. Need to make changes to your mask? Double-click the compound clip to open it and adjust it accordingly. Drag the overlay effects into your timeline to stylize your project. To replace a background, drag it atop your previous background and release your mouse, and choose Replace from Start to retain timing. Be sure to check out the different backgrounds, typography templates, and overlay effects to create different styles for your projects. That's all for this lesson. My name is Stanislaw Robert Liberto with Motion VFX, and I'll see you next time.